LakelandCarKeys.com. We got a 2002 Toyota Sequoia. This is one of those models that are a little headache to program. If you don't have a key, you have to pull the gauge cluster out and there's a mobilizer box in the back where you would bench flash it. So what we did was we pulled the driver's side door handle, got the key code. We were able to cut a blade by shell and we have the Lock Labs master programming key. So what we did was I used my X-Horse Key 2 Plus. I cloned the master programming key to a super chip and I put it in this key. So the Toyota recognizes our new key as a master key. I used the Autel IM508 and resynced the mobilizer to this key which took about 10-12 minutes and then you know once it was synced I was able to uh, shut it off turn the key on hit the brake five times to get out of programming mode and we turn the ignition on there's no immobilizer light it runs and starts and goes all set ready to go LakelandCarKeys.com Like I said, we cover most year makes and models. Um, you know, some of these Toyotas, the late 90s, early 2000s, they're a little bit of headache as far as programming them. You know, some of them you gotta pull the engine computer out and flash them on a the bench. Some of them you have to, you know, pull the gauge cluster and flash an external immobilizer unit. This one we got lucky that we had the Lock Labs master programming key. So shout out to Lock Labs. We really appreciate it. Saved us a lot of time of having to pull the cluster, pull the immobilizer, and bench flash it.